Hi folks, I know it's been a while since you've seen anything on this channel but uh, random Wi-Fi, so I hope this will be a treat. Uh, I'm using my newly revamped OU singles team against a guy I met on Smogon. It's not Blaze or Ari, uh, whatever he wants to be called, although I do owe him another match. This is uh, Skippy the Great on Smogon, and uh, this is, this is going to be a good battle. Uh, I send out Crobat, and he sends out Dragonite. Uh, I can't do anything against Crobat, so I uh, U-turn. Uh, Crobat's there as an anti-lead uh, to take down, uh, or to stop people from setting up uh, Stealth Rock. But I've actually never, in all my playtesting, and I've been using this team quite a bit on uh, Shoddy, um, I have yet to actually go up against a guy who's using Stealth Rock on his lead. So, <laughs> yeah. So I pull back uh, Stella and send out my real lead, uh, Tux, my Empoleon, who you've seen is holding a lychee berry, but now this is acting as a straight up uh, lead Empoleon, setting up Stealth Rock and holding a Focus Sash. So Stealth Rock goes up, uh, and his Dragonite uh, attacks with a Fire Blast. Um, I guess he's thinking it'll do a big wad of damage, and it does, um, although it, do it breaks the Sash without, K uh, without um, bringing me to 1 HP, uh, or getting me within torrent range, so um, Tux isn't really uh, useful because I took out Blizzard to put on Stealth Rock, so I send out my Skuntank, who you've all seen before. Um, get, get a free switch because he, send, he pulls back uh, his Dragonite and sends out Suicune. Um, I consider my options with this Suicune. Um, I figure, you know, he's probably going to switch out because I don't think uh, Suicune can do much. Uh, so I should have used Pursuit, but I, I'm not that good with prediction yet, so I go with a payback. He, sa he predicts very well, uh, pulls out uh, Tyranitar, uh, who's going to resist whatever Dark-type move I use. And indeed, uh, and he, by the way, whips up a stand Sandstorm in the process. Uh, I get off a payback, and I get a crit, which means that the attack doesn't do z uh, zero damage, but it's uh, still not going to hurt him much, and nothing else I've got is going to hurt him. So I pull back Kenyon and send out uh, my new, pride, uh, my new uh, pride and Glory Pazuzu, which is a Futurama reference, um, my Zapdos. That Zapdos is rng like you wouldn't believe. It took so freaking long. RNGing in Heart Gold and Soul Silver is a pain in the butt. Uh, but this and my frame was extremely high. It was, I believe, 1200. Um, this probably doesn't mean anything to you if you don't RNG or know what uh, RNG abuse is. Um, but uh, the result is great. This guy's got everything is all his stats are 30 or 31 except for attack, which I don't use. Um, and it's got Hidden Power Grass, uh, 70 power, so yeah, I'm extremely proud of this guy. Um, Bold Nature, by the way. If anyone knows of a, uh, uh, I'm posting the, um, the stats in, uh, my, uh, in the annotations of the Zapdos. If anyone knows of a better, legitimately rng Zapdos, please let me know, because I think this one might be the best I've ever seen. Uh, I definitely couldn't find one on the Smogon forums. So he uses Ice, Ice Punch with his Machamp. Um, I use Zed Headbutt, but he uh, predicts that. Um, or he predicts that I'm going to do something that's not going to be fun. So he pulls him out, sends out Zapdos. Um, suffers quite a bit from the Stealth Rock. And I use a Zen Headbutt, which does a great amount of damage. I, uh, Jirachi was really on the fence for me when I was designing this team. Uh, should I use Jirachi or should I use Yan Mega? This battle, uh, this battle, cemented the fact that I'm gonna. Uh, it rescued Jirachi from the uh, trash pile. I really wasn't sure, but it did so well on this battle that uh, Jirachi's not going anywhere. He sends out Tyranitar, which walls my uh, uh, my uh, what call it uh, Zen Headbot, which um, I'm tricked into, and obviously, uh, or he predicts well. He knows that I can't do anything, so he sets up a focus uh, punch. Uh, focus punches uh, my uh, Mamoswine, nicknamed Poopaloop, 
Uh, that was uh, suggested by my wife, and it's cute enough to pull off a poopaloop loop, in my opinion. Um, I use superpower. Uh, you'll notice that it survived the focus punch, even though it was weak to it. That's because I've invested a considerable amount in uh, defense in this uh, in this guy. Um, that's instead of investing heavily in speed, like Smogon suggests. Uh, you know, I most of my guys are from Smogon. Uh, they are based on Smogon builds. But you know, if you follow them blindly, then people are going to know what to expect. Uh, he sends Machamp back out. Um, I'm going to send Jirachi back out. <clears throat> and so he uses close combat, uh, which will lower his defenses uh, and do a considerable amount of damage to Jirachi. So I'm probably not going to switch out Jirachi again. Um, and Jirachi uses Zen Headbutt, uh, and as long as he doesn't switch out, that's a KO for me. And indeed, he doesn't switch him out. Um, Jirachi's running Trick. I might take out Trick because uh, it's a considerably less useful than I thought it was. Basically, actually, I'm not 100. I need to look up what Trick does in terms of if you use Trick after. Um, a user goes, are they locked into that move? I think the case, the answer is yes. Um, so Dragonite uses extreme speed. Uh, Jirachi was death fodder at this point. Uh, I really couldn't do much. Jirachi is down. And now I consider how I want to take out this Dragonite. Uh, I send out my Fupa Loop uh, to use a stab ice shard, um, which will, uh, which this uh, I already know this guy's pretty slow, so I know that Ice Shard will hit first, what, what, what with priority. And Dragonite is down. Skippy sends out Suicune, and here is where the battle goes south for me. Um, I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I mean, it's an easy mistake to make. Uh, if you haven't seen Suicune a lot, I for some reason thought that Suicune was ice type, not water type. So, as you're going to see, I'm going to try focus blasting, or not focus blasting, I'm sorry, fire blasting this guy, and that's not going to do anything. Yeah, that was a big, big uh, mistake on my part, and this is a friend battle after all, so I had time to look it up if I wasn't sure, but I was just convinced. The reason I'll tell you I'm convinced is because I had a Suicune, um, back in, uh, whatchamacallit, Pokemon um, Coliseum, and Surf never did anything, you know, never did any amount of damage, and I figured it must be because it was lacking stab. So I figured, oh, well, it must be Ice-type. Um, that's, so that's why it was in my mind like that. Uh, I can get it in one more attack with my, um, with my Skuntank, and I choose a Sucker Punch. Um, he Ice Beams, and Skuntank is down. Uh, poorly played on my part. Yeah, I really wish that focus, uh, that fire blast had hit because then I would have seen. Oh wait, it's not water type, uh, and or it's not. It it is water type. It's not ice type, uh, and I could have uh, changed my strategy a little bit. I'm using superpower because that's super effective against ice. Of course, Suicune outspeeds him. Um, doesn't, I don't think he's low enough on HP that uh, Ice Shard would have KO'd. Although, Ice Shard, uh, my Mamoswine's got a choice band, so that would have done a lot of damage, and it might have actually delivered the KO. Um, but oh well. So yeah, my uh, Empoleon uses Hydro Pump, because I'm like, oh, well, I can't use Grass Knot. Um, and yeah, he's down to... Uh, He's, uh, miraculously, Empoleon survives. That was really lucky. And I get a crit. Super lucky for me. And um, his sweet coon goes down. Oh, man. That was just so ridiculous on my part. He sends out um, Staraptor, takes some damage from the uh, floating stones. And I go for Aqua Jet, which is unfortunately hindered by uh, his Intimidate. Yeah, so it doesn't really do much, although multiply that by, uh, by what, 1.5, and that's how much damage it would have done. He uses Pursuit. Um, at first I thought, what, did he think I was going to switch out with 1 HP? But um, it's probably he didn't have too many moves that didn't um, deal recoil, and he didn't want any recoil right now. So I send out uh, my Zapdos. I figure this battle's over. One discharge, and this battle's over. 
Um, but he goes first and gets a crit of his own, uh, which KOs my Zapdos, who's physically defensive with a bold nature. Um, so that crit was extremely, extremely hard hitting. Uh, and I'm down to my last Pokemon, which is uh, coincidentally the one that I started with. Um, but he's down to almost no HP because of the recoil. So I use Brave Bird um, to end the battle. And I've actually won the match. I couldn't believe it. Um, Skippy, I've seen him around. Um, and I'm still pretty new at this. So I was really, really happy. Uh, Skippy, if you're watching this, great game. You did an amazing, amazing job. Uh, and had I not gotten some lucky crits, you would have won. Uh, good game all around. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Uh, so long.